sitting all alone. It's midnight. The rain is hitting your window as the thunder booms in your neighborhood. You decide to get up to go get a snack. But you hear something. Footsteps. They near your room. You cower in fear as you go to hide. But it's already too late. The mysterious person opens your door. Next thing you know, you are nowhere to be found. Now, how do you prevent this, you may ask? Well, it's simple. Go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> God, that's so stupid. I'm sorry. But yes, please subscribe if you wish. It helps me and my channel grow, and I really appreciate it. I want to clarify the intro was a joke. You won't actually get hunted down, I swear. And if you do find yourself subscribing, I suggest hopping over to my Instagram and following me there too. Anyways, on to the video. So, for today, I decided to draw something Halloween-y. You know, since it's October. And inspired by some ideas I had from last year. I decided to draw Sonny in this costume in my sketchbook, so I figured why not just make him into a fully fledged drawing? And why not add the vampire basil idea I had that I never drew to go along with it? Surprisingly, I finished this drawing in a single day, where it usually takes me a few days to complete an illustration. I think it looks really cute. If you want to see it too, stick around to the end of the video. And while you guys are here, I figured why not talk about Halloween also? So that's what we're doing today. The first part I wanted to talk about is dressing up. I don't know about you, but dressing up has to be one of my favorite things about Halloween, aside from the movies. Nothing beats the movies. Actually, I'm curious. Put your favorite Halloween movies down below. I want to see. And yes, The Nightmare Before Christmas counts as a Halloween movie. I stand where I stand. Don't argue with me on this. Ah, I'm getting distracted. Okay, moving on. Out of all the times I've dressed up, I'm only going to talk about a few of them that won't be brought up in the next segments and the ones that happen to be some of my favorites. Those happen to be my Sunny costume, my Enderman costume, and my Sans costume. Yes, I went to Sans for one year, but hear me out. My Sony costume was relatively simple. I wore it last year and I kind of just put together an outfit I already had that was pretty much identical to Sunny's. I flattened my hair and I added some eyeliner for that tired eye look. Either way, I think it looked pretty cool and would have looked cooler if I actually planned it and added a something behind me. That would have been awesome. The next costume, the Enderman costume, I literally just wore all black with one of those cardboard Minecraft head boxes. Despite the simplicity, I was hyped to be one of my favorite Minecraft mobs, and it still is to this day. It didn't fully fit on my head, so I had to do a lot of adjusting, but I still loved it. The last costume was my Sans costume. Okay, it could have looked better, I'ma be fair. No, the thing I loved most about it was the effort I had to put in. I made a paper mache head to look like, you know, his face. And to go along with it, I cut up these old Uggs and glued pink fuzz to it to represent the slippers. It was a lengthy, long, but enjoyable process to make in this costume. Another kid showed up as Sans too, but pff, I think I had the better costume. Nah, I'm just joking. Both of ours were pretty decent. But all that matters is that people could actually tell who we were. And that was pretty cool. During middle school, I decided to go to the Halloween dance, because why not? Now, I came to school in a Mario costume, the Jumpman himself. However, at home, I had one of those inflatable dinosaur costumes. But I couldn't bring it to school because there was something in the dress code that was against it. Which was complete bullshit. Because later on, I saw a kid with the exact same costume getting hyped up by literally everyone. I was salty. Not gonna lie, I wanted to be a dinosaur too, you know? We could have twinned. We could have been the dino duo, the prehistoric buddies. But no, of course not. <sighs> Anyways. Moving on to the next thing. The next year in middle school, I decided to go to the Halloween festival and later on the dance. The Halloween festival was interesting. I met up with one of my friends at first. We went to this area where they had a mechanical bull. My friend went on at first and everything was fine until we heard something snap. I look up and he's holding the handle. He detached the strap from the bull. The operator thankfully had some quick thinking as he ran to tie his belt to it, making a makeshift handle so my friend could continue his turn. And then it was my turn. Oh boy. I couldn't get on the bull. Like, no matter how hard I jumped or bounced, I couldn't get on. And guess what? The operator started it with me hanging halfway off. I was spinning, holding on for dear life. It's no surprise that I fell off within 10 seconds. <laughs> 
After that embarrassing moment, we continued going around doing other activities until we met up with our group. Which, when we met up, I forgot how, but my shoe slipped off. This sounds irrelevant, but now there's a photo in my yearbook of me with my friends holding a shoe. Fun times. Earlier I mentioned the dance, or the second Halloween dance that I've been to, which I will be getting into next. It was a few days after the festival, and I went with the same group of friends. We went absolutely insane. I ended up downing a whole package of M&Ms, and we were just absolutely loading up on all the sugar we could find. Nothing really eventful happened, except for the dance, but it was still extremely fun, and one of the memories I cherished from that time. The last thing I have to talk about is one of the most iconic parts of Halloween, and that is trick-or-treating. I've gone trick-or-treating quite a lot over the years, and it was always a pretty big thing at my old neighborhood. Kids were roaming the streets, looking for houses with candy. There'd usually be little packs of kids ranging from like six to seven of them. I'd sometimes join the groups or just go as solo because I wanted to go a bit farther. I would mainly venture off to see the best Halloween decorations in all of the houses around me. My favorites were the ones with the inflatables and those motion censored animatronics that would jump out and scare you whenever you least expected it. Those were the best. We even had one in our bush. During trick or treating in general, nothing too big really happened except for like little stories here and there. For example, you know when families put a bull outside their front door with a sign that says take one? Well, this one time I didn't see the sign so I grabbed like three ginormous handfuls of candy and skipped off to the next house to which my dad was like, you know there was a take only one candy sign right? No? Anyways, the last story I have was when I decided to go trick-or-treating with the same friend who tore the strap off the mechanical bull. We were walking around having a good time when we suddenly spot a big gray dot on the floor. I think it was paint or something? I've seen it before, so I wasn't freaked out, but my friend? Oh no 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 no, he was the complete opposite. He screamed the highest pitch I've ever heard from him and ran off thinking it was a spider. I felt pretty betrayed. If that ended up being an actual spider, one, it was huge. Two, bro would have left me to fend for myself. I am absolutely terrified of spiders. I would have passed out if there was a spider that big. Not only that, he left. How am I supposed to fight against a big spider like that? Man, how could you? I'm over exaggerating, obviously. I wasn't that distraught over it, but my fear wasn't an over exaggeration. No, no. I will not mess with any spiders, no matter the size or type, no sir. And with that, that's all I got for you today. Hope you liked the stories and the drawings. See, I told you it was cute. And I will catch you all in the next video. I have a pretty cool video planned that slightly differs from my normal content. So if you want to see it, be sure to subscribe and leave a like while you're at it. That's always nice. Anyways, bye!